So how does fasting impact your female hormones? I get this question a lot. I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books, The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution, host of the podcast, The Female Health Solution. And when we talk about fasting, and this is something that we do in the Female Hormone Solution Program, so if you're not on the wait list for that, go in the comments there and go in the show notes and make sure you're on the wait list because um, you do not want to miss out on this. But fasting can have a positive impact on your female hormones. I'll say that first. It can be good. It can be really good for your body and your system. One of the biggest mistakes that people make though is you're actually doing fasting not meant for the female body. You're actually doing fasting meant for the male body. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time when we look at fasting and we look at research done on it and all these things, we'll be like, oh, I haven't seen any research. They don't do a lot of research on it, right? So the things that I talk about, and I want you to understand this, the angle, we'll say, that I take on it and the recommendations <clears throat> that I make when we talk about fasting in the female body is based off of Eastern medicine. It's based off of Chinese medicine. I'm certified in and licensed in Chinese medicine and acupuncture. So a lot of these things you have to realize how the female body functions differently than the male body, especially when under stress and fasting is a stressor. It is a stressor. You are trying to induce a use stress, a good stress on the body to have a positive result, right? Versus stressing a lot to have a negative effect. This would be a good stress, right? A use stress, a good stressor would be like, say you're in class, and the teacher says, hey, everyone, we're gonna have a pop quiz today at the end of class. And it's gonna be on all the stuff we cover in today's lecture. Stress, oh, that's a stressor, but that's a good stress because actually what that does for your brain is it helps you pay attention more and you're gonna really take better notes and all these other things. That way you're gonna have a better score on that quiz at the end of class. That's a good stressor, right? Yeah. That's the impact of what fasting can have on your female hormones. As long as it's done correctly. And as long as your body is ready for it. It's the second thing, as long as it's ready for it. Biggest mistakes that I see where it's not a good stressor is that people jump into fasting, some type of fasting schedule. Now there's lots of different types of fasting out there. But people jump right into fasting from a different caloric deficit place. Oh, I was eating a thousand calories a day and um, that didn't work. You know, I was doing that for two months and it didn't work. It worked at first, but now it's not working. I'm not losing any more weight. So I think I'm going to do fasting. And they're using fasting as a, just another way to have a calorie deficit. Long-term calorie deficits are horrendous on the female hormone system. That's not good, right? So that's a huge mistake. It's not going to work. You're not going to get the right results and it's actually going to mess up your hormones more because of it, because you're inducing this other stressor on the body, right? Or fasting in an aggressive pattern like a male body would respond to. The female body goes through different phases and cycles and things like that. And it's more beneficial to fast at certain times of the month or if you're in menopause to have different types of fasting implemented, your body will respond positively to certain types versus other types. It will respond negatively to other types because of where your hormones are at. Your body's just different. It's not good or bad, it's just different. So it's really important that you're aligning these specific tactics at the right time, but also for the body that you're living in hormonally. That's what we do in this program. So when we're looking at these things, keep in mind that we want to make sure your body is ready, that you're not coming from a depleted state already, that your system is primed and ready to go, and then you're applying the right tactic for you. Now, you might be thinking, how do I know what the right tactic for me is? How do I know? <laughs> well, we actually look at your hormone report. Every single recommendation I make for people in my programs is based off of what your system is doing. There's no blanket thing. Oh, this is a, here's a good program. Eat clean, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, great, wonderful. Oh, good. But if you're not actually aligning with what your system needs hormonally, you're missing out on a huge piece of this. So this is why people get such amazing results and they're able to apply these certain tactics like fasting and keep it going and keep continuing results. I just had somebody email me that um, they did my program. It was over two and a half years ago. 
And they were like, hey, how's it going? And they were just updating me on life, this and this, and we moved to a new house and this was really stressful. Oh yeah, and this happened in my life. I did gain a little bit of weight, but I gotta tell you, I was able to still take it off just as easily because of what I learned in your program that long ago. Great, great. It's because we're working with your body. So fasting can have a really positive impact on your female hormones because we're working with your system and we're helping regulate hormones and helping your body detox because that's a big piece of fasting. Or it can have a detrimental and very negative impact on your body because you're doing it when your system's not ready. So again, we learn that. It's, it's almost impossible to say, these are the things where you're for sure ready or not. We look at your hormone report and we see where your level's at. So if you are not on the wait list for the next Female Hormone Solution Program, Go below this video, click on that link, get on the wait list so we can see what your hormone report looks like and give you the right recommendations moving forward. So that is what I've got for you today. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Otherwise, I will see you later.